A science fiction magazine is a publication that offers primarily science fiction, either in a hard copy periodical format or on the Internet. Science fiction magazines traditionally featured speculative fiction in short story, novelette, novella or usually serialized novel form, a format that continues into the present day. Many also contain editorials, book reviews or articles, and some also include stories in the fantasy and horror genres. Topic History of science fiction magazines Malcolm Edwards and Peter Nichols write that early magazines were not known as science fiction, if there were any need to differentiate them. The term scientific romance or different stories might be used, but until the appearance of a magazine specifically devoted to SF there was no need of a label to describe the category. The first specialized English language pulps with a leaning towards the fantastic were Thrill Book 1919 and Weird Tales 1923, but the editorial policy of both was aimed much more towards weird occult fiction than towards SF. Major American science fiction magazines include Amazing Stories, Astounding Science Fiction, Galaxy Science Fiction, The Magazine of Fantasy and Science Fiction and Isaac Asimov's Science Fiction Magazine. The most influential British science fiction magazine was New Worlds. Newer British SF magazines include Interzone and Paluto. Many science fiction magazines have been published in languages other than English, but none has gained worldwide recognition or influence in the world of Anglophone science fiction. There is a growing trend toward important work being published first on the Internet, both for reasons of economics and access. A web-only publication can cost as little as one-tenth of the cost of publishing a print magazine, and as a result, some believe the e-zines are more innovative and take greater risks with material. Moreover, the magazine is internationally accessible, and distribution is not an issue, though obscurity may be. Magazines like Strange Horizons, Ideomancer, Intergalactic Medicine Show, Jim Byan's Universe, and the Australian magazine Andromeda Spaceways Inflight Magazine are examples of successful Internet magazines. Andromeda provides copies electronically or on paper. Web based magazines tend to favor shorter stories and articles that are easily read on a screen, and many of them pay little or nothing to the authors, thus limiting their universe of contributors. However, the following web-based magazines are listed as paying markets by the SFWA, which means that they pay the professional rate of 5C word or more. Strange Horizons, Intergalactic Medicine Show, Jim Byan's Universe, Clark's World Magazine and Chizine. The World Science Fiction Convention Worldca awarded a Hugo Award each year to the best science fiction magazine, until that award was changed to one for best editor in the early 1970s. The best semi professional magazine award can go to either a news oriented magazine or a small press fiction magazine. Magazines were the only way to publish science fiction until about 1950, when large mainstream publishers began issuing science fiction books. Today, there are relatively few paper-based science fiction magazines, and most printed science fiction appears first in book form. Science fiction magazines began in the United States, but there were several major British magazines and science fiction magazines that have been published around the world, for example in France and Argentina. The first science fiction magazines The first science fiction magazine, Amazing Stories, was published in a format known as bedsheet, roughly the size of life but with a square spine. Later, most magazines changed to the pulp magazine format, roughly the size of comic books or National Geographic but again with a square spine. Now, most magazines are published in digest format, roughly the size of Reader's Digest, although a few are in the standard roughly 8.5 by 11 inches size, and often have stapled spines, rather than glued square spines. Science fiction magazines in this format often feature non-fiction media coverage in addition to the fiction. Knowledge of these formats is an asset when locating magazines in libraries and collections where magazines are usually shelved according to size. The premiere issue of Amazing Stories April 1926, edited and published by Hugo Gernsback, displayed a cover by Frank R. Paul illustrating off on a comet by Jules Verne. After many minor changes in title and major changes in format, policy and publisher, Amazing Stories ended January 2005 after 607 issues. Except for the last issue of Stirring Science Stories, the last true bedsheet size SF and fantasy magazine was Fantastic Adventures, in 1939, but it quickly changed to the pulp size, and it was later absorbed by its digest-sized stablemate Fantastic in 1953. Before that consolidation, it ran 128 issues. Much fiction published in these bedsheet magazines, except for classic reprints by writers such as H. G. Wells, Jules Verne and Edgar Allan Poe, is only of antiquarian interest. 
Some of it was written by teenage science fiction fans, who were paid little or nothing for their efforts. Jack Williamson for example, was 19 when he sold his first story to Amazing Stories. His writing improved greatly over time, and until his death in 2006, he was still a publishing writer at age 98. Some of the stories in the early issues were by scientists or doctors who knew little or nothing about writing fiction, but who tried their best, for example, Dr. David H. Keller. Probably the two best original SF stories ever published in a bedsheet science fiction magazine were, A Martian Odyssey, by Stanley G. Weinbaum and The Gostak and the Doshes, by Dr. Miles Brewer, who influenced Jack Williamson. The Gostak and the Doshes is one of the few stories from that era still widely read today. Other stories of interest from the bedsheet magazines include the first Buck Rogers story, Armageddon 2419 AD, by Philip Francis Nolan and The Skylark of Space by E. E. Smith and Mrs. Lee Hawkins Garby, both in Amazing Stories in 1928. There have been a few unsuccessful attempts to revive the bedsheet size using better quality paper, notably Science Fiction Plus edited by Hugo Gernsback 1952-53, eight issues. Astounding on two occasions briefly attempted to revive the bedsheet size, with 16 bedsheet issues in 1942–1943 and 25 bedsheet issues as analog, including the first publication of Frank Herbert's June in 1963–1965. The fantasy magazine Unknown, also edited by John W. Campbell, changed its name to Unknown Worlds and published 10 bedsheet size issues before returning to pulp size for its final four issues. Amazing Stories published 36 bedsheet size issues in 1991 to 1999 and its last 3 issues were bedsheet size 2004-2005. Topic The Pulp Era Astounding Stories began in January 1930. After several changes in name and format, Astounding Science Fiction, Analog Science Fact and Fiction, Analog, it is still published today, though it ceased to be pulp format in 1943. Its most important editor, John W. Campbell, Jr., is credited with turning science fiction away from adventure stories on alien planets and toward well-written, scientifically literate stories with better characterization than in previous pulp science fiction. Isaac Asimov's Foundation Trilogy and Robert A. Heinlein's Future History in the 1940s, Hal Clement's Mission of Gravity in the 1950s, and Frank Herbert's Dune in the 1960s, and many other science fiction classics all first appeared under Campbell's editorship. By 1955, the pulp era was over, and some pulp magazines changed to digest size. Printed adventure stories with colorful heroes were relegated to the comic books. This same period saw the end of radio adventure drama in the United States. Later attempts to revive both pulp fiction and radio adventure have met with very limited success, but both enjoy a nostalgic following who collect the old magazines and radio programs. Many characters, most notably The Shadow, were popular both in pulp magazines and on radio. Most pulp science fiction consisted of adventure stories transplanted, without much thought, to alien planets. Much was so badly written that even today science fiction still carries a slight whiff of its pulp heritage. The familiar image of pulp science fiction is a beautiful, scantily clad, large-breasted woman being carried off by a bug-eyed monster, but there were many classic stories first published in pulp magazines. In 1939, a groundbreaking year, all of the following writers sold their first professional SF story to the pulps, Isaac Asimov, Robert A. Heinlein, Arthur C. Clarke, Alfred Bester, Fritz Lieber, A. E. Van Vogt and Theodore Sturgeon. These were among the most important science fiction writers of the pulp era, and all are still read today. <laughs> Digest-sized magazines After the pulp era, Digest-sized magazines dominated the newsstand. The first SF magazine to change to digest size was Astounding, in 1943. Other major digests, which published more literary science fiction, were the magazine of fantasy and science fiction, Galaxy Science Fiction and If. Under the editorship of Seal Goldsmith, Amazing and Fantastic changed from pulp-style adventure stories to literary science fiction. Goldsmith published the first professionally published stories by Roger Zelazny not counting student fiction in Literary Cavalcade, Keith Lorma, Thomas M. Disk, Sonia Dorman and Ursula K. Le Guin. There was also no shortage of digests that continued the pulp tradition of hastily written adventure stories set on other planets. Other worlds and imaginative tales had no literary pretensions. The major pulp writers, such as Heinlein, Asimov and Clark, continued to write for the digests, and a new generation of writers, such as Algus Budrys and Walter M. Miller, Jr., sold their most famous stories to the digests. A Canticle for Leibowitz was published in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. 
Most Digest magazines began in the 1950s, in the years between the film Destination Moon, the first major science fiction film in a decade, and the launching of Sputnik, which sparked a new interest in space travel as a real possibility. Most survived only a few issues. By 1960, in the United States, there were only six SF Digests on newsstands, in 1970 there were seven, in 1980 there were five, in 1990 only four and in 2000 only three. British science fiction magazines The first British science fiction magazine was Tales of Wonder, Pulp Size, 1937–1942, 16 issues, unless you count Scoops, a tabloid boys paper that published 20 weekly issues in 1934. It was followed by two magazines, both named Fantasy, one pulp size publishing three issues in 1938–1939, the other digest size, publishing three issues in 1946–1947. The most important British SF magazine, New Worlds, published three pulp size issues in 1946–1947, before changing to digest size. With these exceptions, the pulp phenomenon, like the comic book, was largely a US format. By 2007, the only surviving major British science fiction magazine is Interzone, published in «magazine» format, although small press titles such as Postscripts and Paluto are available. The decline of the science fiction magazine During recent decades, the circulation of all digest science fiction magazines has steadily decreased. New formats were attempted, most notably the slick paper stapled magazine format, the paperback format and the webzine. There are also various semi-professional magazines which persist on sales of a few thousand copies but often publish important fiction. The rise of the online science fiction magazine As the circulation of the traditional U.S. science fiction magazines has declined, new magazines have sprung up online from international small press publishers. An editor on the staff of Science Fiction World, China's longest-running science fiction magazine, claimed in 2009 that, with a circulation of 300,000 copies per issue, it was the world's most read SF periodical. Although subsequent news suggests that circulation dropped precipitously after the firing of its chief editor in 2010 and the departure of other editors. The Science Fiction and Fantasy Writers of America lists science fiction periodicals that pay enough to be considered professional markets. <laughs> <laughs> List of magazines American magazines Topic Defunct magazines A Merit's Fantasy Magazine 1949-1950 5 issues Aboriginal Science Fiction 1986 to 2001 Absolute Magnitude 1993 to 2006 19 issues Air Wonder Stories, 1929, 11 issues. Amazing Stories, aka Amazing Science Fiction, 1926 to 2005, 607 issues. Asimov's SF Adventure Magazine, 1978-1979, four issues. Astonishing Stories, 1940 to 1943, 16 issues. Avon Fantasy Reader, 1947 to 1952, 18 issues. Avon Science Fiction and Fantasy Reader, 1952, two issues Avon Science Fiction Reader, 1951–1952, three issues Beyond Infinity, 1967, one issue Captain Future, 1940–1944, 17 issues Cosmic Stories, 1941, three issues Cosmos, 1953–1954, four issues Doctor Death, 1935 Dr. Yen Sin, 1936 Dream World, 1957, three issues Dynamic Science Fiction, 1952–1954, six issues Dynamic Stories, 1939, two issues Electric Velocipede, 2001–2013, 27 issues 
Eternity SF, 1972–1975, six issues, revived 1979–1980 Famous Fantastic Mysteries, 1939–1953, 81 issues Famous Science Fiction, 1966–1969, nine issues Fantastic, 1952–1980 Fantastic Adventures, 1939–1953 Fantastic Stories of the Imagination, 2014–2017 Fantastic Story Magazine, 1950–55 Fantastic Universe, 1953–1960, 69 issues Fantasy Book, 1947–1951, 8 issues Fantasy Fiction aka Fantasy Magazine, 1953, four issues Flash Gordon Strange Adventure Magazine, 1936, one issue Forgotten Fantasy, 1970–1971, five issues Future Fiction aka. Science Fiction, 1939–1943, 17 issues Future Science Fiction, 1950 see Future Fiction Galaxy Science Fiction, 1950 to 1980, 245 issues. Galileo, 1976 to 1980, 16 issues. Gamma, 1963 to 1965, five issues. Heliotrope S Zine, 2006 to 2009, five issues. Helix SF, 2006 to 2008, 10 issues. Ideomancer, 2002 to 2015. If AKA. Worlds of If, 1952 to 1974, 175 issues, revived 1987. Imagination, 1950 to 1958, 63 issues. Imaginative Tales, aka Space Travel, 1954 to 1958, 26 issues. Infinity Science Fiction, 1955 to 1958, 20 issues. International Science Fiction, 1967-1968, two issues. The Internet Review of Science Fiction, 2004 present. Nonfiction only. Jim Byan's Universe, 2006 to 2010. Marvel Tales, 1934-1935, five issues. Miracle, 1931, two issues. Oceans of the Mind, 2001 to 2006. Odyssey. 1976, two issues Omni, 1978 to 1995, 168 plus issues Orbit Science Fiction, 1953-1954, five issues Orion's Child Science Fiction and Fantasy Magazine, 1984, Revive 2007, three issues Other Worlds, 1949 to 1957 Out of This World, 1950, two issues Paradox Magazine, 2003 to 2009 Planet Stories, 1939 to 1955, 71 issues Polygraph Magazine, 2009–2012 Realms of Fantasy, 1994–2011, 102 issues Redstone Science Fiction, 2010–2012 Rocket, 1953, 3 issues Satellite, 1956–1959, 18 issues Saturn, 1957–1958, 5 issues Sci Fiction, 2000–2005 Science Fiction, 1939–1941, 17 issues, revived in 1953 Science Fiction Adventures, 1952–1954, 9 issues Science Fiction Adventures, 1956–1958, 12 issues Science Fiction Age, 1992–2000, 46 issues Science Fiction Digest, 1954, 2 issues Science Fiction Plus, 1953, 7 issues Science Fiction Quarterly, 1940–1943, 10 issues, revived 1951–1958 Science Fiction Stories, 1953–1960 Science Stories, 1953–1960 1954 Science Wonder Stories, 1929–1930, 12 issues Cypher Dimensions, 2000–2010 Space Science Fiction, 1952–1953, 8 issues Space Science Fiction Magazine, 1957, 2 issues Space Stories, 1951–1953, 5 issues Space Wait, 1953–1955, 12 issues, Revive 1967–1970 Star SF, 1958, 1 issue Startling Stories, 1939 
1949 to 1955, 99 issues Stirring Stories, 1941-1942, four issues Subterranean Magazine, 2005 to 2014 Super Science Fiction, 1956 to 1959, 18 issues Super Science Stories, aka Super Science Novels, 1940 to 1943, 16 issues Revive, 1949 to 1951 Sybil's Garage, 2003 to 2010 Tales of the Unanticipated, 1986 to 2014 Ten Story Fantasy, 1951, one issue Thrilling Science Fiction, aka Thrilling Science Fiction Adventures, 1966 to 1975, 42 issues. Tomorrow Speculative Fiction, 1993 to 1997, 24 issues. Tops in SF, 1953, two issues. Two complete science adventure books, 1950 to 1954, 11 issues. Uncanny Tales, 1939-1940. Unearth, 1977-1978, eight issues. Universe, 1953 to 1955. Unusual Stories, 1934-1935, three issues. Vanguard, 1958, one issue. Venture Science Fiction Magazine, 1957–1958, 16 issues, revived 1969–1970 Vertex, 1973–1975, 16 issues Vortex, 1953, 2 issues Vortex, 1977, 5 issues Wonder Stories later thrilling Wonder Stories, 1930–1955 Worlds Beyond, 1950–1951, three issues Worlds of Fantasy, 1968–1971, four issues Worlds of Tomorrow, 1963–1967, 26 issues Topic current magazines Abyss and Apex Magazine, 2003 present Analog Science Fiction and Fact aka Astounding Stories, Astounding Science Fiction and Analog Science Fact and Fiction, 1930 present Apex Magazine, 2005 present Aphelion The Webzine of Science Fiction and Fantasy, 1997 present Asimov's Science Fiction aka Isaac Asimov's Science Fiction Magazine, 1977 present Bards and Sages Quarterly, 2009 present Bull Spec, 2009 present Clark's World Magazine, 2006 present Daily Science Fiction, 2010 present Escape Pod, 2005 present Fiction Podcast and Online The Future Fire, 2005 present US, UK GUD Magazine, 2006 present Print, PDF Hypnos, 2012 present Intergalactic Medicine Show, 2005 present Leading Edge, aka the Leading Edge Magazine of Science Fiction and Fantasy, 1981 present Lightspeed, 2010 present The Magazine of Fantasy and Science Fiction, aka The Magazine of Fantasy, 1949 present Nebula Rift, 2012 present Not One of Us, 1986 present Perihelion Science Fiction, 1967 1969, revived 2012 present Planet Magazine, 1994 present Planetary Stories, 2005 present, Quantum Muse Essene, 1997 present, Shimmer Magazine, 2005 present, Space Adventure Magazine, 2011 present, Space and Time Magazine, 1966 present, Strange Horizons, 2000 present, Three Lobed Burning Eye, 1999 present, Uncanny Magazine, 2014 present Waylines Magazine, 2013 present, U.S., Japan. Weird Tales, 1923 to 1954, revived 1988 present. Topic: British magazines. Topic: Defunct magazines. 3SF, 2002–2003, four issues Alien Worlds, 1966 Authentic Science Fiction, 1951–1957 Critical Wave, 1987–1996, 2008 Fantasy Tales, 1977, one issue Farthing, 2005–2007 Hub, 2006–213, 147 issues Murky Depths, 2007 to 2011, 18 issues. Nebula, 1952 to 1959, 41 issues. Nemonymous, 2001 to 2010. 
New Worlds, 1946 to 1971, 201 issues. Odyssey, 1997-1998, eight issues. Outlands, 1946, one issue. Paluto, 2008 to 2013, ten issues. Postscripts, 2004 to 2009. Science Fantasy, aka Impulse, 1950 to 1967. Science Fiction Adventures, 1963, 32 issues. Science Fiction Monthly, 1974 to 1976, 28 issues. SF Digest, 1976, one issue. Spectrum SF, 2000 to 2002, nine issues. Tales of Wonder, 1937 to 1942, 16 issues. Vargo Staten Magazine, 1954, 1956, one nine issues. Vision of Tomorrow, 1969, 1970, 12 issues. Whispers of Wickedness, Webzine. Topic: <laughs> Current magazines. Arc, 2012 present. Doctor Who magazine, 1979 present. Fever Dreams magazine, online publication, 2012 present. The Future Fire, 2005 present, US, UK. Interzone, 1982 present. Jupiter magazine, 2003 present. The Third Alternative, later and currently Black Static, 1994 present. Topic: Other magazines. Topic: Defunct magazines. Aleph, 1987 to 1993, Serbia. Argonauta, 1953 to 2004, Portugal. Esli, 1991 to 2012, Russia. Fantasia, 1997 to 2007, revived 2008 to 2011, Slovakia. Phoenix, 1990 to 2001, Poland. Fiction, 1953 to 1990, revived 2005 to 2015, France. Hapner, 1954 to 1969, Sweden. Harbinger Magazine, 1998-1999, Australia. Imperija, 2000-2001, Lithuania. Jules Verne Magazinet, 1940 to 1947, revived 1972 to 2010, Sweden. Kaukas, 1991-1997, Lithuania. Mitrania, 2002 to 2010, Sweden. Null, 1960 to 1964, Japan. Sirius, 1976 to 1989, Croatia. Uchujin, 1957 to 2010, Japan. Uncanny Tales, 1940 to 1943, Canada. Topic: Current magazines. Albedo One, 1993 present, Ireland. Andromeda Spaceways Inflight Magazine, 2002 present, Australia. Aurelis, 1990 present, Australia. Fantastica, also known as Nowa Fantastica, 1982 present, Poland. Futura, 1992 present, Croatia. Galactica, 1972 to 1995, revived 2004 present, Hungary. Halice, 2006 present, Spain, Latin America. Indian SF, 2013 present, India. Kazma Science Fiction, 2009 present, Canada, English. Cosmograd, 2001 present, Russia. Mir Fantastiki, 2003 present, Russia. Mithila Review, 2016 present, India. Neo Opsis Science Fiction Magazine, 2003 present, Canada, English. Newfound Specfitch, 2009 present, Canada, English. Nova Science Fiction, 1982 to 1987, revived 2004 present, Sweden. On Spec, 1989 present, Canada, English. Porti, 1982 present, Finland. RBG Azimuth, 2006 present, Ukraine. Science Fiction World, 1979 present, China. SF Magazine, 1959 present, Japan. Sirius B, 2011 present, Croatia. 
Solaris, 1974–present, Canada French. Tata Vialtea, 1982 present, Finland Ubik, 2007 present, Croatia Universe Pathways, 2005 present, Greece Urania, 1952 present, Italy USVA Webzine, 2005 present, Finland See also Fantasy Fiction Magazine George Kelly Paperback and Pulp Fiction Collection Horror Fiction Magazine